Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we are going to discuss the workflow for assigning a column cap plate connections within RAM connection standalone. We will now turn our attention to our RAM connection standalone application, where we've already created several different types of joints within this model. For this exercise, we're going to be focusing on joint number seven, which is a column cap plate. And I'm going to go ahead and ask RAM connection standalone to assign a connection for this configuration. To start that process, let's go to the Design tab of the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Assign icon. Now all connection types within RAM Connection Standalone are organized by the forces for which they can resist. As you can see, the column cap plate can resist both shear and moment forces. If I were to go down to the Smart Connection area, I would see that this workflow is not available for a column cap plate. That being said, let's select the basic connection workflow, select the cap plate template, and then click on the assign button. Once the design is complete, I will be able to take a look in the joint selection area and see the status of the connection design. Here I can see that my interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it is in green indicating that it did pass all code checks without producing any warnings. If I would like any additional information regarding the detailing of this connection, I can go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on the edit icon, and then select combined connection. Here within the connection pad, I can modify several different types of parameters for the column cap plate. This would include the connector plate material, thickness, and bolting information. It would also include any weld parameters for welding the plate to the column. And I can also add stiffeners if needed. In addition to that, I could take a look at the results to see the steel connection report and the status of each of the design checks that were performed. Lastly, within the connection pad, I can view or export the DXF drawing. Now at this point, since I did not make any changes, I'm gonna close out of the connection pad and this would conclude my process for assigning a column cap plate to a column cap joint within RAM connection standalone. As mentioned previously, this is a combined connection and it can resist both shear and moment forces. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.